All right, new song by Gregory Allen Ezekoff, friend of the channel here before the sun. Uh, tabs out already. Great song. Uh, standard tuning camp on the second fret. We're in the key of A. I'm going to talk some stuff about music theory, but really just trying to stay in the realm of in the key of A. Just try to ignore that, the fact that the capo is on there because our chord shapes are going to be G, C, A minor, F sharp over the top of the D. Uh, we'll have an F regular and then an E minor. Uh, really, the tab's going to call for like a G6 kind of look, which is going to be like this. Really, what you want to be doing is just hammering on and off of this D string, second fret. Because we have the banjo right, and it's going to sound okay. Um, we can play along with the song pretty well, but nevertheless, it is a banjo, so try to keep that in mind. There's a lick in the bridge I kind of figured out, or just going an octave higher on this G string here. Um, two to four slide. Slide back, and you can kind of do like the open. Because really... That's going to be an A note, so try to keep that in mind, you're in the key of A. So that's why in the intro, the intro lick's going to be something like this. Um, going into that E minor, so the chords for the intro is going to be E minor, to G, to C, back to G. But why that works so well is because this open string is really going to be an F sharp which lines up well in the key of A, as we all know. And then when you finally go to that F sharp uh, over the D shape here, it's gonna be the leading tone, in, leading tone into your A note right there, which is gonna be your G chord. So hopefully that kind of makes sense all around. Um, so the intro is gonna be that. Uh, the verses are gonna be something like this. Four to five miles. And after that C at the end of the line here for this G, that's when you really want to do like your G6s or just kind of messing around with that hammer on on the second fret there of the D string. And then kind of think, like I said, you're in the key of A, so just like think of notes that are going to be in your realm here that work in the key of A. Um, now we don't go down to what's this called as the chorus. I'll go down on my own. Some like licks, some banjo licks that are going on there uh, with the G6 kind of look there. Uh, we have the interlude, going to be the same concept, going to be the same chords, right? We have the E minor going to that G. We have a C going to the E minor, staying on the E minor, going to the G, then that F sharp with the D, back to that C and that G look again. Now we're gonna have uh, verse two is what's this being called as the devil sees us now. Same concept as verse one, not gonna spend too much time on it. Um, there are the chords there that goes to the chorus. Uh, so I'll go on my own. It's a very short song, but very good, very simple. I think we can translate it well to the one guitar here from the banjo that's being played. Um, so I think that's about it. I uh, don't wanna ramble too much, um, revert back. Um, and if you got any questions, let me know. Uh, hopefully I didn't really confuse anybody with the uh, key of A talk, but um, I want people to learn that more because a lot of people don't understand what the capo is really doing or just think like they can um, do a G shape, right? And then take the capo off and think it's the same song while doing the G shape again. It's, it's not. It's totally not. Um, so when you have capo on the second fret and you're playing a G shape, G chord, it's really good to be an A major um because then once you take the capo off you you have to do a bar chord so that's why beginners like to gravitate to the capo which no issue there because a lot of beginners aren't great at bar chords which is fine but obviously that's going to be the same sound as it would be with capo on the second fret doing a g chord 
So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, if you guys need a deeper meaning, deeper video on that, let me know and we'll try to do it. But other than that, I'm out. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to try to do all the uh, Gregory Alanis Koff songs that's coming up from his new album. So let's get it.